Hello, O-Doers. It's Jose Ignacio again. And we have a power problem and not a political thing. In business, all companies have to pay their bills, especially if they don't want to upset their partners. Someone's got to keep the electricity on. And here at Stealthywood, we always aim to pay our suppliers on time, as this reliability is a critical part of maintaining a healthy relationship with our vendors. Now, thanks to the Odoo Purchase app, knowing precisely when and how much we need to pay our beloved partners has never been easier. With Odoo, we can define when the related vendor bill should be paid for each purchase order, either before or after receiving our products. Now at Stealthywood, we often agree with our vendors to wait on sending payment until after products are delivered. Why? Because we can, but also doing so ensures that we don't pay for missing products or incur the same cost multiple times, which is essential for Stealthy Woods financial health and for our board of directors. Now, quickly identifying incorrect vendor bills is also crucial for our finances. Now, thankfully, the Odoo Purchase app automatically matches the information between the purchase order, the vendor bill, and the receipt so that we can only pay for the received products at the agreed price. But enough about uh, the financial status of Stealthy Wood and our ins and outs. Let's just jump into Odoo to learn how flawlessly we can control all your bills better than ever before. So here we are on our purchase dashboard. As a first step, we need to set the default bill control policy for our products. And we're gonna do this by going on over to configuration, settings, invoicing, and bill control received quantities. Now, sorry about that, it is very in there. Now, receive quantities is now the default setting for every new product we configure. When we order these products, Odoo will only let us create a bill after we have received at least part of the total order. If instead we selected ordered quantities, we could technically create a vendor bill as soon as we confirm a purchase order. And let's say if one or two products need a different control policy, we can also override the default bill control settings by going to the purchase tab inside of a product's template and modifying its control policy field. And also while we're here, let's activate enable three-way matching to make sure we only pay bills for received goods. And then once we're done with all this, we're gonna hit save and we're done. All right, now let's see what happens when we order products with a bill control policy set to received quantities. So we're gonna head on over to purchase, create, we're going to select any vendor and our product is going to be chair floor protection. And we're going to go inside of its product form. And inside of here, we're also going to click on the purchase tab. Now we're going to see how the control policy is. Notice it's on receive quantities, but we're going to discard that. Now the quantity is going to be set to 10 and we're going to confirm this order. And let's try to create a bill directly. As you can see, we get an error message stating that there is nothing to invoice since the product's bill control policy is set to received quantities and we haven't received anything yet, but that's okay. So it's actually impossible for us to create a bill at the moment and that's kind of a problem. And if we go over to the other information tab, we notice the order's billing status is set to nothing to bill. To create a bill, we first need to receive at least some of the products. So let's say we got the first half recently. We're gonna receive the products, done. We're gonna validate, and we're gonna create a back order. Now we're gonna go back over to the purchase order via the breadcrumbs, which is always the most fancy, nice way of Odoo allowing us to go backwards. Now we can see on the other information tab, the billing status has changed to waiting bills, meaning we need to create a bill. So let's do that now. If we click on Create Bill, Odoo will take us to the Draft Bill, where we'll click on the Other Info tab. Now here, the Should Be Paid field displays whether the bill should be paid or not. Thanks to the three-way matching feature we enabled earlier, this is now possible. Now, in this case, it says yes, because we have received five items, and now we can be billed for those five items only. And if we see over here on the Invoice Lines tab, you can confirm this. But before we confirm this, let's manually change the quantity to see what happens. What happens if I set it to seven? And save. Now, the should be paid field displays, or displays exception. Now, what does exception mean? 
Now this means, and this happens because while Odu recognizes something is wrong with the bill, Odu assumes you have a good reason for editing the draft bill. Now let's change the lines tab and go back over to the quantity and we're gonna set it to five and we're gonna add a bill date. In this case, everything is set and we're gonna hit save. And then after we're done saving things, we're gonna confirm it and we're gonna register the payment. And we're just going through the full, the full flow right now just to make this work. Now the bill is marked as in payment once that we've done all this. The should be paid field will only be set to no after we actually send the payment to the vendor and mark the bill as paid. Since we are not sending a real payment for this demo, let me show you how we can manually change the should be paid field. Now we're gonna go over to the edit, other info tab, and should be paid, no. The force status should be left checked. And we're gonna hit save. Let's say we have received the rest of the order. We're gonna go back to the purchase order, received products, or receive products, and we're gonna click the receipt with the ready status. And we're gonna hit done. Now we're also going to save and validate. And forgive me for a lot of this clicking around and going through the flow very quickly. This is part of the demo. Now we go back to the purchase order and we can now create a second bill for that back order. We're gonna hit into edit, add a bill date, save, and we're gonna also confirm this. And we're gonna go back over. And now that we've received all of the products and build everything, the billing status is fully billed. We can also see an overview of all of our purchase orders and their billing statuses by going over to the orders button and purchase orders. Now, while we're here, let me show you a quick trick. If we select all the purchase orders that are currently set to waiting bills and either click on create bill or we create a vendor bill, we can create everything and bills for all of the selected orders all at once. And that's pretty convenient. Now, that's all for this tutorial. And I'm sorry it was a little bit of a mouthful. There's a lot of configuration with bills, but don't you want to be certain it's accurate? Now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.